All right, hello Scorpio. Welcome to your Ange welcome to Angie blog. <laughs> this is a timeless reading for the full moon in Virgo. I was divinely guided here by your angels and ancestors and divine wants to give you guys some messages. I already meditated on some messages, but we're gonna do that at the end. First, we're gonna tap into tarot and see what is going on in your energy, Scorpios. Thank you so much, guys, for your like, comments, and subscribes. I really appreciate your donation, your shares. Uh, also, guys, make sure you like the video so that way I can automatically tap into your energy, but also other Scorpios as yourself are able to receive this message. You know, it helps also this channel to evolve and grow, okay? And I'm chapeling the cards in your face so that you can see <laughs> what's happening, okay? Um, but yeah, these other ones I already meditated on it, okay? Also, these uh, reading will be attached. The link will be also in the writersyep.com uh, blog and on Medium. Everything that you need is going to be in the description below, okay? So let's see what's going on. Whoa, that's really want to pop out, okay? All right, the first ones that pop out, let me see. All right, we have Ace of Wands. Queen of Swords, I'm gonna put this energy here. Queen of Cups in reverse, Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Scorpios. All right, so already in your energy, what the vine wants to let you guys know that during this full moon uh, in Virgo, there's definitely something, a uh, message or something very passionate, someone very passionate coming in, or this could be you working your your strength and you know to reveal some type of truth, some type of passionate message towards someone. It could be uh, some of you could be in this Queen of Swords energy. Um, Yeah, Queen of Swords energy, but then you have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody very, um, again, this doesn't have to be a female or male. Again, there's no gender in tarot, but I'm seeing with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like somebody is going through some type of intense karma here or something. Like the Wheel is... It's turning in the favor of somebody else here, whoever it is here in Scorpio. Could be you or could be somebody else. Definitely I'm seeing, um, could be another water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, uh, Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It could be an air sign, Libra. Yeah, very interesting energy with the death card here and you have the empress and empress and you have the temperance it's like i feel like somebody here is trying to build some stability some balance and it's like somebody's not letting them like somebody is like ready to build something new here a new beginning like there's some new beginning it could be for this queen of swords somebody who has anyways there if you're in this queen of swords energy you're very smart very intelligent very strategic and i feel like right now what divine is saying is like continue working on whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing it's like you're following your soul mission and i feel like you have a lot of people that or just one person this queen of cups in reverse somebody um an emotional disturbed person it could be a female or or male take it how it resonates but this person it's mentally disturbed I'm hearing spiritually disturbed like somebody who has done too much let me just say they have paid other people to create some type of um, tribulations or chaos magic it could be also death Wow some of you could be also building I feel like this person is very jealous of you uh, somebody some of you could be a mother uh, not necessarily you could have children but not necessarily that you could be somebody very stable very beautiful an earth angel somebody mess with the wrong earth angel here 
Yes, Scorpio. This could be you or this could be the you, uh, another person. If this is you, you're getting some serious, it's going back to you. Now, if you're the person receiving this energy right now, I feel like right now it's like with the King of Swords, like you're cutting whatever, it's like you're feeling this energy. It's like you know this King of Cups, whoever this is, could be a mother, an ex, uh, ex-friend. Somebody here is just not, with the Page of Pentacles, it's like, they have paid people like to and i feel like there's a page of swords like there's somebody here who wants to speak the truth here perhaps they were collaborating with this person or they or this is somebody who's trying to protect you but i feel like somebody here wants to no they're watching yeah wow i just heard it clearly they're watching you they're watching if their spell work or whatever that they have done towards this queen of swords if it's working but it's not it's not and it will never work you don't know why because you're an earth angel you're chosen and this person has done it many many lifetimes before but guess what they just met met the demise you are the one who's gonna bring justice to this person who has done this to other people they have caused this to other people because they're jealous they're vindictive they're disgusting they're disturbed this person should be in jail or some type of spiritual jail because they have caused death to other people but guess what now it's going back to them because they messed with the wrong one some of you scorpios are chosen and this person is going through some serious bad karma okay yeah with the ace of pentacles in reverse yeah the injustice there's the justice card somebody is getting really intense bad karma here and whatever they're trying to any financial opportunity anything like that is just backfired because that's what they wanted for you they don't want any opportunities any new uh communication or something like they've been trying to block this for years for you scorpios but you're stable you're beautiful you're very intuitive you you're an empress you deal with a lot like this is something it's like you're i feel like this person has trained you to deal with spiritual warfare because it's like this is constantly this is every single day yeah they're not listening to spirit with the three of wands yeah they're collaborating with other people yeah see they landed on the queen of swords the three of swords the three of wands yeah it's a lot of people trying to attack this queen of swords who also is the empress yeah, the Six of Swords is like, they didn't listen to the vine, like, it's telling them, stop doing it. Walk away. Leave this person alone. Yeah, Tower moment. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're about to lose everything. Yeah, they. somebody here doesn't want you guys to heal, to work within themselves, because the moment that you heal, it's like, it's like all their spell work or witchcraft that they have done, it goes back to them every time you heal. It is even more if you fast. If you're spiritual, like you're in that spiritual journey and you're fasting right now, I absolutely, okay, that's the divine saying. If you can, if your health permits it during this full moon, because absolutely this person is going to try this full moon. They do this every every time, especially it's heightened during this full moon in Virgo. Make sure you're fasting. Do a little fast. Maybe 24 hours, maybe five or six hours. Trust me. It's even faster. It goes back even faster okay and do not worry scorpio I, I don't feel that you need to be worried about this energy it's like it's already went back to this person and right now what the divine is saying continue working on yourself continue you know cutting all pe pe places people things that no longer serve you okay continue working on your passion whatever it is that you're doing is working because you have somebody very very jealous and they don't want you to do what it is that you're doing okay Let's look into your messages. Just give me a second while I organize it. so I can organize it for you. Mm 
Angels and ancestors, thank you so much for letting us know why Scorpio needs to know for this full moon in Virgo, and so it is. All right. Right away, I see that the universe is saying the universe has your back, okay? You have nothing to worry about. Like, the universe co-creating with you. Whatever it is that you're doing, continue doing it. It's working, okay? Whatever it is. Sisterhood of the Rose, this is like beauty and devotion priestess mystic teacher you're a spiritual teacher you're a teacher you're something that you're doing that it's like raising humanity's consciousness or doing something it could be related to beauty fashion uh anything priestess you you know who these people are this is just a confirmation for you and also that too it's like divine is letting you know that in that little beautiful writing uh releasing paper that you're going to do for this full moon and virgo ritual make sure that you know exactly who those people pop up in your head that i would while i were doing this reading write them down and burn that paper or you can put it in water burn it and then just put it in water like submerge like it's just release release it's that time okay full moon and virgo divine is letting you know release that okay that too it's up to you your angels are saying Everything that's happening, whatever decisions that you want to make, it's up to you. You know what you need to do, especially in the priestess energy. Oh, yeah, it's up to you, okay? Now, some of you in your show journey is relationship. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay, so make sure these people who you're surrounding yourself with, who you're choosing to be, because it's up to you, are serving your highest good. If they're not, make sure that you're creating boundaries or release these people because they're just hindering your growth they're hindering your progress okay the ego energy right see from a higher perspective absolutely make sure that you're grounding yourself that you're looking at things from a higher perspective especially this relationship the these things that are hindering you unrequited love could be right there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going Whoever needs to hear this, this Scorpio energy. If you're having, if you're with, with somebody right now that is not serving you good, that this relationship is not going anywhere, and you see it from a different perspective, it is up to you. Absolutely, it's free will. But divine is letting you know if you're sticking around to a karmic relationship place or whatever it is, it's up to you. You're choosing this, okay? But you already know intuitively, intuitively that that whoever what it is that you are in right now it doesn't serve you okay step off of your comfort zone that's the moon energy the full moon in virgo step out of your comfort zone follow your north node okay if your north node is saying this person this thing is not really serving you listen to it okay it's uh, it's for your divine protection okay the rainbow river reviver Re rainbow reviver i don't know look at you look at this you're beautiful look at that you're full of light so much healing, so much beautiful energy. Make sure that you have people that embrace that, that it gives, that continue giving you. And look, you're marrying as much as you're. Look at that. Hmm. Oh no, I just felt like doing that. Maybe, you know, use more color in your life. I don't know. Paint. Do something else. Uh, surround yourself with people who can make you feel awesome and beautiful, okay? If not, then it's okay to be by yourself and create that colorful world for yourself, okay? By the book, yeah, 11, look at that, the universe you're, The universe has your back and 11, you're doing things by the book, you're doing the right things. And right now all these people that are trying to jeopardize that energy or your energy, it's just they're already below you, you know what I'm saying? 12, if you see that number a lot, it's the angel saying that you're going on the right path, okay? Creativity is driving force in your life. Your imagination is rich and you are able to express your feelings and in insights in unique ways that others can benefit from. I am a visionary. Oh my God, you are. Make sure that you're continuing nurturing that, especially you have people who are gonna be jealous and envious of your creativity or whatever it is that you're bringing. And yes, it is up to you to decide. You got, you got the balls, you got the hanging around, you got, you're the empress energy. You decide. You're not um, you're not serving me right now. Bye. Okay, you can stick around. Oh, you're too much. You're too much in uh, vampire energy. No. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you. Angels are saying holy love. 
there's a new love coming in there's something here if you already like broke up with someone or recently are getting into like there's a new relationship here there's a new beginning and it's holy like it's very beautiful like very healing here it's, it just could be like you like you're in this energy this person's gonna be just like you like really really healing too yeah sound of home planetary cycles with all this is like alignment like there's something aligned like you're aligned with the planets like the universe like literally the universe co-creating with you and perhaps this new relationship that is meant to be like literally it's like ordained by god which is beautiful surrender to miracles look at that it's gonna be like a miracle and it's like a it's like a soul tribe you see the dolphins could be a soul tribe could be a new family new something new be open to miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubts that miracles can happen. Look at that. Tell the spirit. Definitely that's what you should release. Any self-doubt, lack mentality, anything that the fears or or that you're not good enough or or that you can't step out of your comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? Or you're not backed up by the, literally the universe. Let go of that. Release that. Write it in that little piece of paper and burn that, okay? You're not in that energy. It's okay to evolve. It's okay to change. It's okay to be different, especially when you're in that creative mode, you know? Be different. It's okay to be different. Sacred purpose, eternal flame, ancestral legacy. That's who you are. Honor that. That's beautiful. That You're meant to be different. You're not meant to be the same, Scorpio, okay? See, what are we just saying? Look at that. New beginnings. We just said that. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Absolutely. I feel like right now what the energy is for you is just to release whatever people places or things they're no longer really serving you and not letting you be in this energy this beautiful colorful healing uh teaching inspiring um creating new love new things for you okay like this is the time for you for that and also whatever is not requited love that is not giving you anything like let it go like it's not serving you in any possible way and you know and continue doing what you're doing which is literally co-creating with the universe you know and whatever is making you happy just continue doing that because it's working okay all right scorpio that's what i have for you i hope it resonated let me know in the comments if it did i'm sending you so much love happy full moon in virgo Woo bye <laughs>